do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Hey, friends. I just went to the coolest birthday party ever. It was for my friend Corbin. It was desert adventure themed. So fun! We played kick the cactus. They weren't really cactuses. Don't worry. We played meerkat, meerkat, coyote instead of duck, duck, goose. By the way, meerkats and coyotes live in the desert. Check them out. We had scorpion cupcakes. They weren't real scorpions, don't worry. Just decoration. Then we played pin the tail on the camel. It was so fun, I decided I wanted to play at home. So I drew a big camel without its tail on this paper. Then I made a tail out of string. I put a piece of tape on the string. Oh, and I get to use this super cool Cali headband as a blindfold. Now I just put the blindfold on and simply tape the tail to the camel. Now remember where the tail should go. And here I go. Okay. What? What? Have you ever felt lost, friends? Or maybe you lost your grown-up at the market for a minute? Or maybe you're like me and it's hard for you to play some games, like pin the tail on the camel. Have you ever felt confused? Like you didn't know what to do next, where to go, or who to talk to? Me too. There are lots of ways we can feel lost. Being lost is hard. Sometimes it feels like, I guess, walking around with this blindfold on and trying to pin a tail on a camel? <laughs> I wonder, where can we go when we feel lost? I need to wonder about this more while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 32. At that time, Moses was the only one who spoke to the people for God. God told Moses what to say. Moses told the people, one time, Moses was taking a very long time on the top of the mountain talking to God. The Israelites waited and waited, and then they couldn't wait anymore. They didn't know what happened to Moses. They thought that he might never come back. Maybe Moses was gone. Maybe God had forgotten about them. They felt lost. But instead of turning to God, they turned to something else. They went to Aaron, Moses' brother, and told him to make them something out of gold that they could worship. This was not a good idea. It broke one of God's rules for the people. Worship only God. But Aaron gave in and did it. He collected all the gold from everybody. He melted it together in a pot and made a golden statue that looked like a baby cow. Then all the people gathered around the statue and worshiped it. The people forgot about God. They really lost their way. Meanwhile, God was talking to Moses at the top of the mountain. God knew what the Israelites had done and God was not happy. You know when you break a rule and you get in trouble with your parents? Those rules from your parents are to keep you safe and growing strong. God gave the Israelites rules for the same reason. So when they decided to break the rules, they were really hurting themselves and God loved them. So he wouldn't let that go. Moses begged God to forgive the people for their mistakes and God did. Moses went down to the mountain and asked why the people turned against God like this. They told them they felt lost because they didn't know where Moses was. But many of them were sorry for what they did and they were ready to make things right. We will make mistakes sometimes too. We'll wander off the path. But God is ready to give us another chance. That's why we can turn to God when we're lost. I decided to call my buddy Sam to help me with pinning the tail on the camel. 
Hey, Sam! Hey, Callie! Wasn't Corbin's party so much fun? It sure was! My family's been playing Meerkat Meerkat Coyote since we got home! Oh, cool! I've been playing Pin the Tail on the Camel! Ooh, that's a good one! But I keep getting lost when I put the blindfold on and I don't know what to do! I can help! When you put the blindfold on, I'll guide you to where the tail should go! <gasps> that's an awesome idea! Let's do it! Here I go! Down. Now up a little. To the right. And there! <gasps> we did it! Yeah! I'm sure glad I called you when I felt lost. We were just learning about the Israelites not turning to God when they felt lost. Oh. The Israelites had some trouble trusting God all the way. They kept forgetting that God was always with them. I might be good to call for pin the tail on the camel, but when we feel lost in other ways, confused, not sure about what to do or where to go, we can call God. I wonder, how do we call God? We pray. We talk to God about it. Oh, of course. Thanks, Sam. My pleasure, bud. Bye. Friends, you may not ever play pin the tail on the camel, but you should. But we all feel lost or confused sometimes. But before we give up or do anything else, we can turn to God when we're lost. It's been so fun! Thanks for learning and growing with me. Bye! <laughs>